hello everybody welcome back to my youtube channel or welcome if you are new my name is Vilma today's video is going to be all about things I am super excited to wear in the fall season I'm going to include a little bit of accessories my hair and even makeup I feel like the fall season is one of my favorite seasons of the year I love the layering I love being able to style my hair completely different and also the makeup becomes slightly more warm more deep in tones and I really love this entire season it's just like one of my favorites of the year now I wanted to say a huge thank you to all of you who wished me well I wasn't very well last weekend um, myself and my daughter were quite ill non-covid related which is great but as you can hear from my voice I am sounding still quite congested I feel a lot better and I wanted to say a huge thank you to all of you who commented on my last post and wished myself and Sherry well so with that long intro grab yourself a nice cup of coffee or tea and let's get started so knitwear is huge at this time of year and I absolutely love wearing chunky cardigans like the one that I have right now. Now this is not current season, it's from H&M and I think I've had it in my wardrobe for at least a couple of years. I love this cardigan because it's oversized, it gives me a really effortless chic vibe, almost like you stole something from your dad or your boyfriend and you're just wearing it. I love putting my sleeves up it just gives me a really nice cool look it has a really nice design to it it's like I said quite oversized so I style it a lot with denim I feel like it gives me more of a effortless chic look so it's a very versatile piece in my wardrobe that I reach for quite often at this time of year next I want to talk about medium to dark wash denim which is something that I love again at this time of year I feel like denim depending on the tone you can wear it the entire year especially here in the UK where the weather is kind of like up and down right now it's 21 degrees and it's quite humid outside now the jeans that I'm wearing right now are the Levi's 501 cropped jeans these ones are non stretch I have it in the size 29 waist 28 in seam because as I mentioned they are cropped and I really love showing a little bit of my ankle I feel like it elongates and it makes you look a little bit more slim if you will I like styling these not only the way that I styled it today but I also like wearing these with ballet flats ankle boots with a pointy toe I think it looks really sophisticated really love these I think they are a great staple in my wardrobe and I'm so excited to start re-wearing them so the first piece from the rail are going to be these leather trousers. These are from Cause and they are current season. I am so excited to wear these because these have been on my wish list for such a long time. I think for the past 24 months or so, I have been eyeing some leather trousers because it's the perfect versatile piece that can take you from day to night very, very easily. It can totally elevate your wardrobe. These are such a great leather pair of trousers. They're high-waisted. They have a barrel style, which I think it's very flattering for most of us. So, 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 so excited to start wearing these. I have quite a few blazers and most of them are from Marquette. So I'm going to show you three, which are the exact same model, but just different tones. So here are my blazers that I want to show you guys. I know quite a few, but I really, really love this style of blazer from Marquette. I believe it's the wool pack blazer which comes in an oversized style I have all three in size 40 these three are made of a hundred percent wool but they're not a super thick so they're the perfect transitional piece for this time of year so I have it in a gray tone I have it in beige and then I have it in a kind of like a burgundy tone and I've been wearing this so much I find that this goes so well well with blue, navy, beige. I am so excited to start re-wearing my blazers because like I said, this is a blazer season and I absolutely love them. So cannot wait to start styling them. 
And next we have a trench coat. I've done an entire review on this trench coat. It is from Cause, but I wanted to include it in this video because not only I've been wearing it a lot, it's one of those pieces that I get excited to actually wear. When the weather looks a little bit more dull and rainy, this is the outerwear piece that I choose the most out of the other three that I showed you because it's a little bit heavier, it's longer. If you are interested in knowing what I actually think about it, I'll link the video up here because it was, I think, my last video actually that I uploaded. I always get excited when the weather changes because I know this is going to be my go-to outerwear piece and I absolutely love it. So it's, it's, it's one of my favorite pieces in my wardrobe at the moment. Okay, so next we're gonna talk about waistcoats, which have been trending since last year. It took me some time to warm up to them, but I've always loved seeing men wearing them and now I'm kind of obsessed. So I need to control myself not to add too many to my wardrobe. The ones that I have are from Cause and I have a two right here that I wanna show you guys. So I have a gray one and one in black. This one is made of 100% wool, which is perfect as a transitional piece. And I believe this one is also made of wool, but if it's not, I'll correct myself here on the screen. I am so excited for these pieces because I never thought they were going to be as versatile as they are. You can wear them on their own with denim. You can wear them as a suit, like to pair them with trousers or maybe a skirt if you want to, or you can wear them on top of a dress. So they are quite versatile. But as my style is starting to evolve to a more, I don't know if I would call it sophisticated because I still like my trainers and I like my t-shirts, but I feel like adding things like this to my wardrobe has really elevated my style a lot. Okay, so for my next category of things that I'm actually excited in wearing, it's going to be knitwear. Although I've already spoken about my cardigan, I feel like you need to have more knitwear at this time of year to make your wardrobe to be a little bit more functional. So I have two vests that I'm so happy that I've added to my wardrobe, which are these two from Arquette. Now these ones are made of 100% alpaca wool, I believe. You can wear these on your own, on your own, <laughs> on its own, or you can wear it on top of a t-shirt, a long sleeve t-shirt, a shirt, or even a dress. I just think these are great pieces as layering pieces in your wardrobe because they are going to protect you from the weather. They are quite warm. Warm. As I said, they are made of wool. They have this fuzzy look to them that makes them look so, so, so luxurious. They don't irritate my skin, which is great. So I'm so excited to wear them because again, they're going to be great pieces to layer with other pieces I have in my wardrobe. So the next piece of knitwear that I wanna talk about is going to be cashmere. And I know this is not going to be on everybody's budget, but for me, cashmere has been an awakening since I started adding pieces to my wardrobe because I noticed a huge difference in and how my outfits look and how I actually see natural fibers as in wool as not being so chunky. Cashmere can actually keep you warm without being bulky underneath your coats or your blazers. So I'm only going to show you one because this is one of the pieces that I'm always excited to wear. This one is a relaxed fit cashmere sweater from Uniqlo. I love this tone, it's navy. I think it's a beautiful tone to wear at this time of year. I have it in two shades, but the one that I look more forward in wearing is always the navy for some reason. I just think it makes me look really nice. It enhances my skin tone. Um, it makes my hair actually look nice. And I will be talking about stuff like that later this year because having gray hair, some tones don't look good on me. And I find that navy actually enhances my most attractive features, if that makes any sense. So this one is definitely one of those pieces that I am so excited to wear. I love pairing this with a blazer again because it's not bulky, it keeps me warm. Wearing this on top of a vest or a t-shirt, cashmere is very luxurious. It feels luxurious and it also looks luxurious. So it's one of those pieces that I'm always, always looking forward in wearing at this time of year. 
So next we are going to talk about the stripes. I have been loving stripes for quite some time and I always talk about it regardless of the time or season of the year. I always talk about stripes because they definitely make your wardrobe and your outfits look so much more than they actually are. So I have two pieces from Marquette. The first one is their heavy cotton or 100% cotton knitwear sweater that looks like this. I absolutely love this. I think this was a great investment for my wardrobe. I always look forward in wearing this at this time of year. I actually have it in two tones, but this is the one that I reach for the most because I think it's more uh, flattering on my skin and it goes with everything that I wear. I love the base. It's kind of like an off-white or creamy rather than white. And then the stripes are either navy, I think they're navy or black, but it's super flattering. I think it looks great with denim, with trousers on top of a dress. It's just a great piece to have in your wardrobe. And like I said, it's quite heavy, so it definitely keeps you warm. Next, we have a button-up shirt, also from Marquette. Again, it's in stripes, but instead of being horizontal, it's actually vertical, which is still quite nice. I love, love, love this shirt. The combination of the stripes and the base of the shirt is lovely because it's not white, it's not too kind of like in your face. I find that having this beige tone, which is slightly darker, as you can see, if I put it side by side with the sweater, it's a little bit deeper. And I think that stripes, again, really elevate your wardrobe and you can wear it the entire year, not only for autumn, but I always look forward in wearing things like this at this time of year as well. Okay, so next we're gonna talk about accessories and I actually only have one accessory that I wanna talk about and it's going to be a black belt. This one is from Cause. It's very, very simple and I love the tone of the gold in this buckle because it's kind of like almost antique, but it goes with most of the jewelry that I have. At this time of year, I love wearing belts because we wear so much darker tones like black on black, navy on navy. And I think something simple like this that doesn't have like any texture to it will definitely elevate your style. And I know this is not about elevation at all. It's just about things that I'm excited in wearing. And I think having something simple like this, I can wear it in so many different ways. I can wear it on top of a cardigan, a blazer, uh, trousers, a dress. It's just going to be a piece that I know I'm going to reach for a lot. So next we're gonna talk about footwear, which is super important at this time of year. We move away from open toe shoes to something that will protect our feet a little bit more. But before we get into the heavier boots, I feel like having a pair of loafers or ballet flats is going to be the perfect piece for the wardrobe. So the ones that I have here are from Arquette. These are just normal, very simple, maybe even boring for some ballet flats, but I absolutely love them. I think at this time of year, I look forward in wearing things that are a little bit more feminine, but also very comfortable. And I feel like adding a pair of ballet flats to your wardrobe is going to be the perfect staple at this time of year. These are going to be a pair of shoes that I'm going to reach for a lot. And I have been reaching so much for them that I had them resold to make sure that they will last me until maybe two or three years because I just love the leather. They're very soft, uh, very comfortable. And again, a piece that I'm so excited to wear all the time because they go with so many of the things that I will be showing in this video. Next, we have a pair of uh, sock boots. These ones are from Vivaya. And a full disclaimer, they were sent to me, but I'm not being asked to talk about them. I've had them in my wardrobe, I would say for maybe four or five months, but I wanted to save them for this time of year because I knew I was going to do this video. Now, these are made of a beautiful knitted material. They have a kitten heel, they are a pointed toe boot, and they have this beautiful, very feminine lace-up detail at the back. Now, I am very excited to wear these. I love a pointed toe boots. I think they are very feminine and they're perfect to wear with crop trousers, for example, with the jeans that I'm wearing today, with the leather trousers I showed before. They're very versatile. I just think they're beautiful and I'm so, so, so excited to start styling them. 
So now that we're done with what's on my rail, I just wanted to quickly mention the makeup that I'm looking forward in wearing this year and also my hair. But I'm gonna start with my hair in particular because I've been wearing it straight for the past couple of weeks. This time of year is when I change my hairstyle. I don't dye my hair. I'm quite boring when it comes to styling my hair in general. I either wear it curly in a bun or I wear it straight. That is kind of like my changing uh, hairstyle, if you will. So I am really loving my hair. As you guys can see, it's super long. I've done kind of like a reel, which I'll link up here, of how I do some of my treatments, like a coconut oil treatment. I am enjoying my hair straight. So that is what you're going to be seeing in the next few weeks or even months. Months. And last but not least, I wanted to talk about my go-to makeup at this time of year. I'm only going to mention three products and these are going to be kind of like my go-to because as I mentioned, autumn, you like things a little bit more deep in color and a little bit more rich. Now I am quite boring with my makeup and I'm also quite loyal to the products that I love. So for foundation, I am using the Dior Skin Glow Foundation in the shade 2W. I really love this because it enhances my features. It's not super heavy. One pump is more than enough for my entire face. It gives a really nice and natural glow and it doesn't emphasize my texture. I'm 45 almost 46 and I don't like my makeup to be too heavy and this one is perfect. Now when it comes to lipsticks, I really like a good kind of like either brownish or mauve in the darker tone spectrum of things. And these two products that I have right here from Bobbi Brown are my go-to. So I like kind of like filling them up with this because it really extends the longevity of my lipstick itself. And then I go with the artistic I think it's called the artist or artistic stick over the top and it gives me this really beautiful deep and rich tone which I really love okay my lovely so we've reached the end of today's video let me know in the comments below what pieces you're looking forward in wearing at this time of year and even your makeup lipstick make sure that you share your skin tone and the tone of lipstick and brand that you are talking about if you want to share of course if you did like this video not only give this video a good old thumbs up letting me know that you did but also subscribe to my channel and hit that subscribe button to make sure that you don't miss any future videos for myself and also make sure that you click that notification bell to know every time I upload a new video thank you so much for joining me and I'll see you on my next one bye